Hello everyone, welcome to this inspiring space. This is Maya. Lately I've been sharing some videos under the theme of preparation for ceremony while tapping a bit into ceremony and integration afterwards. I will be sharing more videos on my channel and if you like to have a kind of a specific private session a guided session, I would recommend checking some more information on my website of what I do and what I offer and that I have added in the description below. So today I felt like sharing more about preparation before ceremony and there will be more layers to this so-called phase. And today's sharing is about what kind of information do you need for you to tap into before your own ceremony. And there's a lot of information about master plans out there and a way to approach ceremony is to get enough information, not too much. I remember before my first a ceremony in the Amazon traveling all the way there I have read a little bit about the plant medicine and I kind of kept it very simple because I really wanted to experience what that felt like for me at the same time what I noticed after my ceremonies is the guidance that I needed afterwards. Yes, I had tools and we'll be tapping into those more also through the sharings. Tools related to yoga and body work and also other body-based practices including breath work and meditation. And I was practicing those also in my daily life. Yes, I can say this was helpful after my ceremonies but somehow there was guidance that was missing and so there were things that probably if I had someone who would who was through several experiences and would share their perspective on a broad level it would help someone who's grounded I would say so this is where I would like to go a bit more into today the information that you read or that you uh, watch or also on social media the groups that are available the pages that are available and how the approach to a specific master plan happens and what it is about and all of that there's a lot and no one can really define a specific master plan and its realms instead of one realm the uniqueness of your being is really very much connected to the uniqueness of the plant that you are going into ceremony with so the plant starts reading you in your own way, in your own behaviors, in your own ways of thinking, of being, of processing emotions. And this relationship is very unique. So the information that you read before ceremony and even after ceremony is somebody else's experience. Yes, it can tap into generalities the way we are doing here. And also, it can tap into specific, very individual experiences that can be very insightful, but also that can bring about this imprint that, oh, I would like this kind of experience. And this is probably part of your exploration to get to know what that means for you and to allow yourself to experience a specific ceremony with your own being, with your own approach, with your own intention. We can't really borrow something else for a long time. We borrow it, we give it back. 
And so we borrow it, we, we see, we explore what that means for me, that theme means for me. What is it that I'm healing? What is it that I am not being able to go deeper into and really find the root of it? And there can be similarities with other experiences, but it is truly a unique, a unique experience. Until, you know, as it's said out there, until you really own your story, and then when you own your story, you can let go of it. Everybody has a story and we meet in that realm. We have stories that are quite common even if we are living in different parts of the world. It's the story of humanity. And so the information that you tap into before your ceremony somehow can come, or it's better for it to come, from people that you feel are grounded, from people that you feel are walking their talk, not only talking the philosophy of it, but really embodying it and how you can know more about it by investigating more by asking more about hmm, what is the history of this foundation what is the history of that person and connecting with them maybe and maybe having a discussion with them um, to learn more about them to learn more about their experience and be inspired by them so this is the sharing for today. I hope it inspires you. Keep it simple and feel what is right for you. I wish you a lovely day or a lovely evening and I send you much, much love.